sometimes it's overwhelming. Why did God give me my talent, my gift? Word on the street is that Beyonce is starting to get fed up with Jay-Z's antics, and his latest escapades might just be the last straw. Apparently, she's allegedly gearing up to spill the tea and expose him once and for all. So, what exactly is going on? At the Grammy Awards, while accepting the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award, rapper Jay-Z didn't hold back. With his 12-year-old daughter Blue Ivy at his side, he basically said that music and voting for the Grammy Awards are subjective, and he couldn't help but notice that his wife, Beyonce, has never never won Album of the Year. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won Album of the Year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. The camera then cut to Beyonce, looking slightly apprehensive in the audience. Taking aim at other nominees, Jay-Z continued, Some of you are going to go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you may get robbed. Some of you don't belong in the category. When I get nervous, I tell the truth. Viewers were quick to speculate if he was taking aim at Taylor with his remarks, who has received 52 Grammy nominations and won 14, four of which have been Album of the Year. Her latest win saw her triumph over Boy Genius, The Record, Janelle Monet, The Age of Pleasure, John Batiste, World Music Radio, Lana Del Rey. Did you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean VLVD, Miley Cyrus, Endless Summer Vacation, Olivia Rodrigo, Guts, and Sir SOS. For context, Beyonce has been nominated for Album of the Year five times. The first was in 2010 for I Am Sasha Fierce, then a year later as a featured artist on Lady Gaga's The Fame Monster. After that, she got nods for Lemonade in 2017, and the most recent nomination was for Renaissance in 2023. According to some people, Lemonade in particular looked like a sure Album of the Year winner. I mean, we can all agree that Beyonce really hit it out of the park with that album. From exploring the emotional impact of Jay-Z's cheating to addressing generational pain and racial inequality, it was deep. And let's not even start with how she blended genres using reggae, rock, hip-hop, soul, funk, country, and electronica, accompanied by that visually stunning album. Yeah, that year, Adele was the one who won Album of the Year. And in her acceptance speech, Adele also said that if there was one person who deserved the award, it was Beyonce. She even went as far as saying, my artist of my life is Beyonce. Jay-Z definitely agrees that his wife has been snubbed for far too long, and he made it crystal clear that he believes Beyonce should have won Album of the Year at some point during her career. To a lot of people, including Jay-Z, it's ridiculous that even though Beyonce has over 30 Grammys, literally, just one of her 32 Grammy wins has come in the big four categories, which includes Album of the Year, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and Best New Artist. Single Ladies won Song of the Year in 2010, but other than that, all her other wins have been in genre categories, which clearly isn't enough for her and Jay. Anyway, although the Beehive applauded Jay-Z for publicly supporting his wife, there was a section of fans who felt it was all just for show. What's more, in the same Grammys people noticed something strange when Jay-Z offered her a drink, and she refused to take it. Welcome back to the Grammys, everybody. You know, when you equal a record, there's no way you don't get to hold your Grammy. He looked furious with her after that, and it was clear that he was just trying to control his anger because they were in public. Fans are now speculating that he could have drugged the drink, and that's why she refused it because she didn't want to be drugged out of her mind on her big night. Anyway, it appears things might be so bad for Beyonce, to the point that even her family members are trying to intervene. There have been rumors for years about how Solange is probably not Jay-Z's biggest fan, and girl, does she keep proving it every day. The streets have been saying for years that she isn't exactly the biggest fan of Beyonce's relationship and marriage to Jay-Z because she just doesn't like him. You see, an altercation between Solange and Jay happened on May 5, 2014 at the Met Gala after party at the Standard Hotel in New York City. It gained widespread attention when security footage from an elevator was leaked to the media. In the video, Solange Knowles, the younger sister of Beyonce, could be seen physically attacking Jay-Z, while Beyonce initially stood by without intervening. The footage showed Solange kicking and punching Jay-Z, with a security guard attempting to restrain her. Beyonce Beyonce eventually stepped in, putting herself between Solange and Jay-Z. Ten days after the incident, the trio released a joint statement addressing the drama. As a result of the public release of the elevator security footage from Monday, May 5th, there has been a great deal of speculation about what triggered the unfortunate incident. But the most important thing is that our family has worked through it, they said in a statement to the Associated Press. Jay and Solange each assume their share of responsibility for what has occurred. They both acknowledge their role in this private matter that has played out in the
in the public. They both have apologized to each other, and we have moved forward as a united family. The statement continued. The reports of Solange being intoxicated or displaying erratic behavior throughout that evening are simply false. At the end of the day, families have problems, and we're no different. We love each other, and above all, we are family. We've put this behind us and hope everyone else will do the same. Two months later, Solange cleared the air about the altercation with Lucky Magazine. What's important is that my family and I are all good, the singer said. What we had to say collectively was in the statement that we put out, and we all feel at peace with that. Beyonce kept talk of the incident alive in August 2014 when she debuted a remix of her song Flawless that seemed to reference the famous elevator brawl. The lyrics read, Of course, sometimes ish goes down when there's a billion dollars on an elevator. Following his wife's footsteps, Jay-Z appeared to call out the famous footage in his song Kill Jay-Z off his 2017 album 444. He raps, You egged Solange on, knowing all along, all you had to say you was wrong, but you gotta do better, boy, you owe it to Blue. You had no father, you had the armor, but you got a daughter, gotta get softer. Well, another reason why Jay-Z may not be liked by Solange is purportedly due to his alleged controlling behavior towards Beyonce. Jay-Z and Beyonce are arguably the Hollywood power couple, but that doesn't mean their relationship was without out its complexities. Despite their combined fortune of nearly $2 billion, a luxurious home, and the admiration of their peers, the dynamics of their marriage presented a different story. For those unfamiliar with Beyonce and Jay-Z's journey as a couple, they have consistently faced scrutiny for the unconventional aspects of their relationship. For example, they first met when Beyonce was just a teenager, while Jay-Z was in his 30s. Reflecting on those early days Beyonce once shared in an interview, I was 18 when we first met, 19 when we started dating. There was no rush, no one expected me to run off and get married. The couple officially began dating when Beyonce was 19 and Jay-Z was 31, sparking concerns among fans, with some speculating about the possibility of Beyonce being you-know-what by Jay-Z. Setting aside the age gap, observers have also raised eyebrows about the uneven power dynamics right from the beginning. When Beyonce and Jay-Z embarked on their romance, Beyonce was already quite popular, but Jay-Z was an industry heavyweight with significantly more clout and influence than she had at the time. This, coupled with their age difference, led to doubts and conversations about how imbalanced the relationship might have been from the start. However, over the years, the playing field has somewhat leveled out because Beyonce has become the biggest artist in Hollywood. She's literally the most decorated artist ever and holds the Grammy record as the most awarded person in the history of the awards. But even with this, fans still feel a certain way about the marriage. So Jay-Z has faced criticism with some labeling him as a predator. Then there's also the fact that Jay-Z was Beyonce's first real relationship. She has opened up about how she didn't have the typical childhood or teenage years because she was super focused on her career. She said, my teenage years were about the grind. I grew up hearing this particular scripture from James 2.17, faith without work is dead. Vision and intention weren't enough. I had to put in the work. I committed to always being a student and always being open to growth. My energy went into Destiny's Child and the dream of us getting a record deal and becoming musicians. If something wasn't helping me reach my goal, I decided to invest no time in it. I didn't feel like I had time to kiki or hang out. I sacrificed a lot of things and ran from any possible distraction. Beyonce wasn't just 12 years younger than Jay-Z, but she was also pretty inexperienced when it came to relationships, adding an extra layer of sketchiness. As time passed, speculation started about whether she felt confined in the marriage, especially now that she's older and had more experience. Some insiders claim it's not just a feeling, Beyonce is genuinely trapped. According to sources, Jay-Z holds complete control over every aspect of her life, leaving her with little room to live on her own terms. Multiple people have recently come forward to expose Jay-Z's control and manipulation of Beyonce. In addition to all this, a former bodyguard of Beyonce once revealed that Jay allegedly got her hooked on substances. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. The former bodyguard also alleged that Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage is not real and that it is just a contract to help them reach the top. So remember, your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to, be, be, to become billionaires. There's no love there. Okay, now if it was just Uncle Ron making the allegations that Beyonce has been on drugs, then maybe I would say that there's a great chance that he's not telling the truth. But the thing is, he's not the only one who said it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, a, it was a, a lot to try and squeeze in 
30 years in 12 minutes, you know? How are you gonna- And just look at this video of B and tell me she doesn't look off to you. Why did God give me this life? Sometimes it's overwhelming. So far, however, there's no solid evidence to suggest that B is on anything. But people have also been suggesting that the only way Beyonce is still in the marriage is because she's on drugs and that the marriage is fake. So let me break down a couple of those things that make their marriage questionable. For starters, in 2008, Beyonce revealed that she was 18 years old when she met Jay-Z, noting that they started dating a year later when she was 19. However, a lot of people believe that Jay-Z possibly started hitting on Beyonce much earlier, but she couldn't say that to the press, of course. Then there have been the endless cheating allegations that go all the way back to 2005. At the time, there were rumors that Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce with Rihanna. And in 2010, the streets started saying that Jay-Z had hooked up with an adult film star, Jasmine Kashmir. A few months later, Jasmine's friends were spreading the news of a pregnancy and saying that Jay-Z was the father. But Jasmine took to Twitter to deny the accusation, saying, No, I am not pregnant by Jay-Z or any rapper from New York. Jay also made a public statement as well, saying, saying that he and Jasmine had never even crossed paths. But interestingly enough, a friend tipped off tabloids that Jay had paid Jasmine two and a half million dollars to disappear, and she coincidentally bought a new house around the same time. Of course, the cheating allegations were eventually confirmed by both Jay-Z and Beyonce. And to date, some people still don't understand how Beyonce stayed. And according to them, it's probably because she has no choice. And get this, a close family friend tipped off the press back in 2016 and said that Beyonce is a workaholic who pushed her kids off on a nanny when she wants to smoke some weed, which is often, and that Jay-Z is a raging alcoholic, and that Beyonce is scared of him because he can physically harm her. And that also wasn't hard for a lot of people to believe because Jay actually has a history of not having his anger under control. For instance, in 1999, the hip-hop world was rocked by scandal when Jay-Z, the self-proclaimed king of rap, found himself embroiled in a violent altercation with young record executive Lance Rivera. The incident, which unfolded amid allegations of leaked music, exposed a darker side of Jay-Z's persona, tarnishing his carefully crafted image as a rap mogul. Fueled by suspicions of bootlegged copies of his then-unreleased album, Vol 3, The Life and Times of S. Carter, circulating before its scheduled release date, Jay-Z reportedly confronted Rivera in a fit of rage. According to witnesses, Jay-Z, flanked by his legal entourage, confronted Rivera with melodramatic accusations about a broken heart before swiftly resorting to violence violence, brandishing a knife and stabbing him. In the aftermath of the altercation, Jay-Z's carefully cultivated facade of success began to crack. Despite his attempts to downplay the severity of the incident, Jay-Z could not escape the glaring spotlight of scrutiny. His plea of guilty to the stabbing and subsequent sentencing to three years of probation served as a stark reminder of his fallibility, shattering the illusion of invincibility carefully crafted by his PR team. But the saga of Jay-Z's controversies did not end there. In 2003, his nightclub 40 40th inches became the subject of scandalous headlines when it was accused of issuing rubber checks, totaling a staggering $46,000 in unpaid bills to disgruntled vendors. The lawsuits, filed by two separate companies, painted a damning picture of financial mismanagement and irresponsibility, tarnishing Jay-Z's reputation as a savvy businessman. While Jay-Z's spokesperson attempted to dismiss the allegations as mere hearsay, the damage had already been done. The shadow of doubt cast over Jay-Z's business dealings only served to further erode public confidence in his integrity, leaving many questioning the true extent of his success. But perhaps the most damning revelation of all came from Jay-Z himself, who, in a candid interview with Vanity Fair, admitted to his troubled past as a teenage <laughs> dealer. In a stunning admission, Jay-Z revealed the gritty realities of life on the streets, where crack cocaine was as prevalent as the air he breathed. As if all this is not bad enough, at 12 years of age, Jay-Z brazenly confessed to a despicable act, the shooting of his own brother Eric, over a petty dispute regarding a pilfered ring. His callous retelling of this heinous deed not only underscores the depths of his moral bankruptcy, but also serves as a damning indictment of the toxic culture that thrived in his environment. I went to someone's crib, someone's house, and got it, Jay-Z callously remarked, speaking of the ease with which he procured the firearm, as if obtaining a deadly weapon were as mundane as running errands. This cavalier attitude towards violence speaks volumes about the twisted values that shaped his formative years. But what is perhaps 
perhaps even more disturbing than the act itself is Jay-Z's apparent indifference to its consequences. Guns were everywhere, you didn't have to go far to get one, just everywhere, he remarked casually, as if the prevalence of firearms in his community excused his reprehensible actions. Anyway, after shooting his brother, he believed he was going to jail, but his sibling refused to press charges and ended up apologizing to his brother because he was a crack addict. It was terrible. I was a boy, a child. I was terrified, he said in the interview. With all this in mind, some people believe that Jay-Z low-key still has anger issues, and Bay is scared of that. Higher marriage just looks like a business transaction. Even Akon once said that Beyonce and Jay-Z have always presented their relationship to the public as more of a business than a real relationship, adding that famous people need to be open with their fans about their relationships, or else they invite the kind of speculation that has always surrounded Jay-Z and Beyonce. Even if it's not about a lot of people still think that Jay is certainly controlling Beyonce, like this one person who wrote on Twitter, Jay-Z is a gatekeeper in the industry, who has a lot of pull from different publications to streaming companies, to judges, to lawyers, etc. This man can stop Beyonce's career if she ever tried to divorce him. So let's not play dumb. Another person was just like, the way Beyonce went from being under one controlling man, her father, then immediately under another Jay-Z, it explains a lot. Now, word on the grapevine is that Bay and Jay-Z's contractual marriage is so effective that they have even managed to eliminate all their competition in the music industry. Beyonce was accused of completely destroying Carrie Hilson's career after claims from the Bayhive that Carrie had thrown shade at Queen Bee in her hit song Turnin' Me On. Although the lyrics didn't explicitly mention Beyonce's name, many listeners believe that some lines from the Turning Me On lyrics were a stinging attack on Beyonce. Your vision cloudy if you think that you the best, you can dance she can sing, but need to move it to the left, she sang. Many believe that Carrie Hilson dissed Beyonce with lines about moving it to the left because it seemed to be a reference to Beyonce's 2006 song, Irreplaceable. The beef between Carrie and Beyonce skyrocketed in 2011 when Carrie refused to hold the newest issue of Juicy magazine after noticing Beyonce and Jay-Z were on the cover. As a result of this, Carrie faced an unimaginable amount of backlash from Queen Bee's fans in the following years. As the internet hate grew more severe and became unbearable, Carrie took to Twitter in 2013 where she wrote, You have no idea what your hateful words could do to someone's spirit. Years of verbal AB from strangers all day long. Enough is enough. In the upcoming years, Carrie tried to move on with her career, but fans wouldn't let her forget the beef. In fact, the singer has not released a single album in the past decade since the backlash from Beyonce's fans forced Carrie to step away from the limelight. Now, I'm not one to spread rumors, but if there's even a shred of truth to these allegations, Beyonce better start packing her bags and running for the hills before it's too late. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.